Okay. Thank you, Dan Ram, for the great introduction. And we are very delighted to be here today and um, yeah, having the chance to do a great talk. And together with me here is Chris Langdon, our expert on data and mobility. So Chris, thank you for coming and yeah, thank you for being here. Great introduction. Thank you so much, Nadine. What a pleasure here today. So we are Deutsche Telekom, Deutsche Telekom is a big company, many different units. Where do we belong? We are part of the Deutsche Telekom IoT unit and we also have a product a real world service offering. It's called the Data Intelligence Hub. It's composed of three different elements. The first one is an open data portal, data exchange. Uh, the second one, a cloud-based data analytics workspace. And the third one is a new data space or data interoperability offering based on new open standards. And there'll be more uh, as we go along with the talk about this particular uh, topic. Uh, T-Systems, uh, in particular is the number one ICT provider in industry. So we are mobility uh, experts in that space. Um, so what's the talk? The talk is about future, future mobility. Uh, and indeed, uh, we're dealing with um, a very new concept. Uh, the buzzword uh, is called a data space. And in this particular area, it's called a mobility data space or in German, Datenraum Mobilität. Um, it's all very fresh. So we're literally coming from the Audubon to Autogipfel, the uh, Chancellor's uh, Auto Summit just happened. And one key conclusion uh, is that the industry should be focused on the creation of so-called data space. So what is a data space? What is it about? Um, what's actually behind that particular buzzword? Well, it fits into a larger effort and the effort got started also by the German government uh, two years ago. It convened uh, something that is called NPM, the National Platform Future of Mobility. And um, that initiative uh, started a real world laboratory. So stop talking, start doing, try to test new ideas, new concepts, new mobility uh, initiatives in real world. And they selected Hamburg, which is the second largest city in Germany. Uh, a lot of mobility efforts uh, going on in that very innovative, uh, that particular city. And it is also the host of the uh, ITS World Congress in 2021. And the idea is actually that a lot of the ideas, a lot of the concepts have been developed in NPM over the past two years, are actually put to a test. To so put to a test in a real world environment so that ordinary citizens have an opportunity to interact with the new solutions in a real world setting. And then for the results to be presented at a big stage in the context of the ITS World Congress. And one of these, one of these initiatives is actually focused on a data space. So what does that specifically mean? Well, Deutsche Telekom is actually the key partner uh, for this particular concept in this real world laboratory in Hamburg. And it is essentially composed of two elements. So the one element is an application so that ordinary people can actually interact with that solution. And the second element sits under it is enabling this particular solution. So what is the, what is the top level application? Well, it is a travel application. That is one that does more than any other application can possibly do. It should be cheaper and it should offer a faster journey from point A to point B. And in order to do this, it is intermodal in nature. So it's reusing a lot of existing components and is orchestrating different modes of transportation. So your e-scooter, subway, or even a rental car into a seamless chain of mobility solutions from point A to point B. Well, it doesn't exist today. Why doesn't it exist today? Well, because it's very difficult. What is difficult? Well, the data is difficult and not the data itself, but orchestrating the data, making sure that the one component can talk to the other one. It needs data, different sources, um, data is different format, and then there are different economic entities providing the data. They may not agree with each other. So bottom line, that future, that great future of intermodal mobility has been actually inhibited by data interoperability problems. And this is what the second element underneath will attack. And that is a data space. So somehow, somehow, based on new standards that have been developed, you know, over the last five years by a consortium of Fraunhofer Institutes, 
will actually be used in order to demonstrate how a data space solution can enable new future mobility services. And well, um, let me ask Nadine as an expert uh, with a little more insights into what is that really? So how would Magan go about actually implementing a particular intermodal offering? Great, thank you, Chris. So, um, right, on the next slide, you can see, um, um, <laughs> thank you, an L Kuni. So that means, um, yeah, a prototype of how could we Euroization <laughs> the mobility. Euroization means using um, existing infrastructure and creating value out of it. So what can we do in an intermodal way to um, yeah, creating more value for customers? And we had a look at different scenarios. So we started with a monomodal um, basis scenario, looking how long does it take in a yeah, route in Berlin to come to, um, to the city center, really, and compared it to other um, scenarios where we were traveling in, um, in an intermodal way with car, public transport, and also with chair bikes, and including um, mobility hubs. So. To do this, we need um, uh, very much data and yeah, had to do very much research on it. But I don't want to, to scare you with all the details. So let's have a look at the, um, at the results. Yeah, we found out that traveling in an intermodal way saves time and money. So really for customers, this is a yeah, good opportunity to um, leverage the, the opportunities from um, different vehicles. And um, so for us, of course, we needed a lot of data, needed to, um, to do some researches on it and also data analytics. And yeah, that's a problem. So there's a lot of data needed for some simulations like that. And individual solutions failed the last times. So we need a new approach where we can do all the data together and get the insights on that. So Chris, I think there's also something um, we could talk about that. Yeah, very well. So, so, so what we established is there is actually true value in it, right? And, and, you know, that's very difficult, right? Because we don't have it actually, right? So how do we do actually the impossible, right? To point out the probable, and that is through simulation, very similar to how you do it with typical vehicle developments. We did the same here. And we also confirmed actually the key problems, right? You know, the, the big problem of data uh, interoperability uh, that hasn't been solved. And efforts so far, individual efforts have failed at it. And so even the government concluded that it is time for a more unified, a much bigger approach to it. And um, that is actually now embedded in an effort called Gaia X. It's a the new pan-European hypercloud effort was launched by the German uh, minister, Mr. Altmaier and his French colleague Le Maire only two months ago. And the objective is to create a pan-European hypercloud that sits on top of existing cloud environments in order to create a data infrastructure that can then in turn allow for the creation of new future mobility offering such as intermodal mobility. Well, thank you, Nadine. Well, thank, thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you for being here.